Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are. Oh wait, sorry, I did that introduction so wrong. Whoopsies, brat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Paige. Hello. If you're old to my channel, you're already subscribed. Don't know how to say that. Basically, hi again. Today we're gonna be talking about things you need for a chameleon. Today, oh, not today. So, I figured out a few days ago that I wanted a chameleon. So, instead of Crested Gecko, I'm getting a chameleon. And I'm just going to tell you the things and some things I don't have. Some of the things just to tell you because I'm getting this guy next month on the 15th. I'll film it because it's at the red tile like so. Oh! But first, let me show you some DIYs that I did. One sec. So, the first DIY is something very important. Actually, a dripper. I made this DIY dripper. Okay, so basically, how I did this is I cut a little hole right here, and I got this tubing inside, and I put some water, and you do, and that's all you basically do. And but then the easy part is you have to tie a knot so it can actually drip. So yeah, that's a dripper. Um, you need some type of spraying device. I also have a spray bottle. Um, so what was another? Oh, a DIY flower pot to hide. So this is a flower pot with some glued string on it. But flower pots obviously have to have flowers, big flowers. You can use fake or real. I thought this would just give the chameleon a little extra support. Um. So yeah, I and and here's a little the glue I used was pretty safe was a non toxic glue and it is super strong and super tacky glue. So yeah, we have a hide. I have this greenery vine thing here. Um, you do need some greenery, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of fake leaves. And real ones, real plants such as umbrella plants, spider plants. What was the other one? I forget the other one, but all sorts of those type of things. Um, those are the most popular. Money tree. Um, those are probably the most popular. Here's a fake one that I thought he would really, really like. You also need some type of vines. Um, I think I'm actually gonna use like this stick kind of. I also have this other stick that I'm gonna buy. It's gonna be super cool because it's like this cylinder type but it's really long but it's like really thick so yeah i think because they're like so cheap you'll need some sticks and vines i have these sticks that i boiled to make them nice and safe um yeah i thought they were pretty cool so i used those these are um, mostly all my diy i'm doing my diys first this bottle cap flower, I'm actually going to make another one of these, but it's gonna have a it's gonna have a big plant that's more like a tall greenery one. And this is just a decoration though. So I glue again, I glued the two bottle caps and I just put glue and I added the big flower and then boom. It's not fully dry yet. Um when you add so much tacky glue, super tacky glue, it does take a long time for it to dry. Let's move on to other things now that are not DIYs. This is one of the greeneries I'm going to be using. I'm getting a baby, so yeah. So this is one of the greeneries I'm using. This is like 99 cents at Walmart, so I just thought, why not? And plus this was from for Hey Hey. I really did like it. So I thought this was supposed to be pretty cool, so it is. Hey Hey loved it. Now, I'm also using a spray bottle, so I can also spray them, and you can get the stuff, too, and a dripper. Both of them separately is completely fine, but I'm just going to do that just in case. And then, last but not least, when you have a baby, you probably need either a fog or a humidifier. Our house is not that humid. It's more of a... 70 degree, so I thought the humidifier was just what he needed. 
the lid is glued in, so I make sure that of that, and then this just comes apart like so. And what I have to do to actually start this is I have to see that thing that I'm, I have to press that up and down ten times to start it. So yeah. You also need an enclosure and food. I don't have the enclosure and food yet. Because that's more like when this one then. I'm actually, I think I'm going to get the food today. Ah! But yeah. I wish I could show you how I made some of this stuff. But I just can't. I can more of like explain it and stuff. Because some of the stuff, most stuff. All the stuff I don't have anymore. So, yeah. But I'm just going to tell you everything of the prices. Okay, so I'm going to first start with the humidifier. I don't know, but I'm going to say about $15 because I did get this for my mom because she thought it was broken. But I fixed it, so I would say about $15. This was actually supposed to go around a Christmas, like around a fire or something. Those like little decorations. I cut off a piece and um the little thing was about five dollars. These sticks I found from outside, so zero. I did boil them and make sure they had nothing, not a nothing on it. Okay, so I'm not gonna say what the string was, I'm only gonna say what the fake flowers were in the pot. The pot I got this from a pretty cheap. So this was about seventy-seven cents. And the flowers were came in on a basket, but the flowers keep on falling off. So the basket was about five bucks. The spray bottle was two. This was ninety nine cents, like I said. The bottle caps were from water, so the water was about five bucks. And then the fake flower, like I said. The tubing I got the extra cheap one. I got this for a dollar and seventy seven cents. Because this was only 10 Um, the thing was about a dollar. So that's everything. But I want to show you something. Guys, look how the tubing changes. I can't do it because I don't want to, like, put my mouth on it or anything. But let's see if I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna go up. I have to like do this so it can work. Sorry guys. To add more water, I think. But I don't wanna add that too much. Now I have to get this starting, which is kind of hard. The water was about to tip over. Hold on, let me get some more water. Okay, we got more water for the dripper. And I love watching it drippers just go down. Now I need to start this back up again. Ew, I just tasted some of this water. Mm. Why isn't it working? It should be working, like. Oh, it's working, it's working, it's working. Now let me start this. So there's the dripper. So, yeah. Um... Now that I think about it, I should have done, like, I should have put this in the flower pot. So, I actually want to see if I can rip these flowers out and do that for you guys, because that would be cool. I can't, guys. This is how super the glue is. 
Maybe if I get a knife. Knife. See what I can do. Let's see if I can work my magic now. I think I'm actually going to get another one of these flower pots and glue this in because I thought that would be so cool and give this chameleon so much support. So yeah, but no, I can't keep this forever because my chameleon is going to outgrow it because I'm getting a Jackson chameleon and no way he can fit back in there. So I'm going to get a bigger one. It's going to be medium size and stuff like that. Yeah, I want to show you something. Yeah, because I still have the glue drying, so that's why. This I love so much. It's just amazing. I think it's going to bring my chameleon so much support. Yeah, so that's basically all. I do plan on using this for his enclosure as a nice climbing branch. Now, as I said, I'm also thinking to use the other things. Sorry, I'm playing with the other thing. So, yeah. Um, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Goodbye.